Welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. Here's your weekly dose of inspiration to build a creative habit, one drawing at a time. Brought to you by Sketchbook School. Hi, welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. This is my small watercolor set. And um, I'm sorry, I cannot tell you where you can buy this because this watercolor box used to belong to my grandfather. It is from Windsor & Newton, but I have never seen it in the shops. They don't make it anymore. This is from the 50s, probably. So I am really happy to have this tiny, tiny box always with me. But that's not what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to uh, talk about grays because I don't have any gray in my palette. A lot of people choose to have paints gray or some kind of gray or even black. I don't have that. And in today's video, I want to show you how I actually make gray and how I use it. I like mixing my own gray because I think that way it's more vivid and every time it's a little bit different, which I like. Sometimes I want a warmer gray, sometimes a cooler gray, and it's very easy to mix them. So usually what I do to mix gray is use ultramarine blue and mix that with Van Dyke brown. Any brown really, sometimes I also mix it with burnt umber, that makes it a little bit warmer. And sometimes instead of ultramarine blue, I use indigo if I want a darker, almost blackish gray. But really most of the time I just mix whatever feels right. So for this gray, I use ultramarine blue and Van Dyke brown. Then I can also add a little bit of red, in this case, quinacridone rose. I don't want it to become purple, but you can just make it a little bit warmer, just adding that warmer color. And here's another mix I like, using indigo and Van Dyke brown for a nice, strong, cool gray. You see, these are just small differences in gray, but there are so many types of gray you can mix, it's endless. These are just three quick mixes that I made up just now. And you can use these grays for drop shadows, but also for painting gray objects. So maybe you have paint gray or another kind of gray in your palette and it's fine to use that just the way it is, just straight from the pan, nothing wrong with it. It's just that I like the variety of grays that you can get if you add in a little bit extra. So maybe with the gray that you have, you can also just drop in a little bit of blue or a little, little bit of red or both and see what happens and see if you can get some great varieties of grays that uh, change the vividness of your paintings. And if you want to create your own gray, all the shades you want, then I hope this video has been helpful. And if you want to learn more about watercolors, then you should definitely sign up for watercolor rules and how to break them. It's a new course at Sketchbook School and you'll find it at sketchbookschool.com. Head on over there and sign up and I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.